They'll be firing up the buzz cutters again this year for folks who want to go bald for St. Baldrick's Day. It's a bold move for a big cause, finding a cure for childhood cancers. Once again, the fundraiser is headed up by Sam Kane with support from Azazu Salon Spa and Blow Up Bar. We want to welcome Sam and Gino of Azazu, and we'll meet our shavers and shavies who are going bald live in the studio in just a moment. But first, thank you both for being here. Sure, great yeah, to be here this morning. Us. Thanks for having us. And Sam, this is something that takes place across the country. Correct. These events go on across the country, internationally. A lot of them take place around St. Patrick's Day because of the name, uh, but they do have events all year long that happen. And so tell us about how this works and how this is helping to cure childhood cancers. Well, unfortunately, the bad news is every two minutes a child's going to be diagnosed with cancer. Mm. Probably the worst statistic I'll give you today. Um, but the good news is since the 50s, survival rates have increased, mm -hmm. and a lot of that has to do with organizations like St. Baldrick's. St. Baldrick's is the largest volunteer-driven private funder of grant research exclusively for pediatric cancer research. And um, since 2005, $258 million has been granted. Wow. And locally, which we always like to tie back the local um, event, uh, Children's Hospital, has received um, almost $2 million in grants. That's amazing. They have five Sam. active grants right now going on from St. Baldrick's. So it's very important that we continue this local event uh, to drive um, fundraising towards the, the overall mission. Fantastic. Thank you, Sam. And speaking of local, Azazu was involved every yes. year. And, and so tell us how you guys well, helped out. Well, this is our uh, 11th year since uh, Sam had conversation with one of our stylists, uh, Carol. Mm -hmm. And then um, it started there. And, and then we, you know, just are really excited to be able to support such an amazing, you know, worthy cause. We feel really, really blessed to be a part of it and to be the fun part of it. Yeah, and so does this happen at your salon? Where well, we do. We um, we do have a setup in our salon where you know it's it's an area where we you know create the awareness. Obviously, this is what it's about: creating the awareness and uh, you know and raising money. So we do have an area in our salon. We we, we do that. We raise the money and we raise the awareness. Yes. All right. So I think that we should meet our two brave souls who are getting their head shaved Absolutely. today, and Mikey is standing by with them. Thank you, Heather. So we are here with Brandy and Caesar, and they're going to tell us a little bit about shaving heads here because this is very brave. Hi, my name's Brandy, and this is my 10th year with St. Baldrick's, and it's an event where I'd say 40 to 100 people have gotten their heads shaved. And this year I'll be at Mount Lebanon, Primani Brothers, and Matthew is my model today, mm -hmm. and we will be shaving his head. And we could go anywhere from no guard, one guard, two guard, wow. three guards. So everyone's going to leave with pretty short hair. <laughs> and Caesar, you've yes. been doing this for some time? I've been doing it for 10 years as well, yeah. Wow. All right, well, Matthew, you look a little nervous. No, <laughs> not at all. This is, this is my 11th, year. yeah, 12th year. 12th year. Yes. And look at all the hair you still have. Oh, yeah. 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 I always, um, I always think that women are so um, just pressed about their hair, and, but men really value their hair as well. So this is really brave for the both of you to do this. Thank you. All right, so we're going to get started. Ready? All right, here we go. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh. Just go right in. And some of these guys wow. do this year after year, right? So they grow their hair back and come back every year for this event. Wow. Well, I was going to say, I am one of them. So tell me, why are you doing this? Uh, really, the statistics of with every two minutes. Um, I really wanted to make a difference, and the foundation itself, I, I feel, is a really great foundation. So it's one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to do this is to get involved and help make a difference and help try to help raise some cureness and awareness. Okay, good. And, and now you said you've done this before. How many times? Yes, twelve. It's my twelfth year. Times. Yeah. Wow. And so, what would you say to someone considering doing this? I'd say the first time I did it, it was a little shock. I never had my head shaved before. Um, but once you get past that, it, it's, it's a cause well worth it. And um, it's something I feel really great about after I'm done. Mm -hmm. And let's come over to here. I want to cheat my way over here. And so how are you feeling right now? I'm um, doing pretty well. Yeah? Doing pretty well, yeah. You don't look nervous at all. No, this is my <laughs> third time. So it's, uh, it's old hat at this point. Right. Wow. Look how fast that comes off. All right, so for more information, you can visit Pittsburgh Today Live. Heather, back to you. 
Oh, thank you so much. And we will check back in to see how the progress is being made over there. But again, as Mikey was saying and as uh, the gentlemen were saying, they come back year after year for this event. And you know what's wonderful about this? It's not just, it's, it's for everybody. So, right. you know, you're going to have, you know, moms and dads, granddads, grandmoms, you know, they're shaving their heads. So it's not just for, and, and what's great about it is, is if for those that are thinking about shaving their heads, go ahead and do it because it's it's a great make start of a great makeover and we'll, we'll we'll grow it back we'll grow it back very gracefully for them so you could have a different look every month yeah i feel like you have to have some fun with it like they're doing right now leave a little mohawk in between right and, and it is fun but the, the key here is we're shaving our heads in support of kids who lose their hair during treatment right and and i have the choice to make but they don't a lot of times right so it's it, we have to remember that it, it, it really is about showing solidarity for kids who lose their hair during treatment right thank you so much sam for all you do My and pleasure. for raising awareness gina thank, thank you, you as for always and stay with us to see how these bald heads turn out in the meantime sign up to go bald too at the annual saint baldrick's event to help stop childhood cancer it's coming up as you heard this saturday at a permanente brothers in mount lebanon this is a new location for them get more details at pittsburgh today live .com.